the agreement. We did not receive a response on the first letter of invitation to discuss, and um, as a result, um, we continue to see more issues happening, and uh, we expressed it to the president via writing. Myself, I wrote that, and uh, the president um, obviously had issues with it. The report came out, but we never had access to the report. So I believe... Sorry, what report came out? The investigative report that was done by the NIA in collaboration with Pura. <clears throat> so um, we ended up writing a cabinet. We ended up having a cabinet extraordinary meeting. And at that meeting, I presented from the technical side the issues that were brewing <clears throat> within Gamtel Gamsel. <clears throat> and uh, when we had written, when we had brought this up to cabinet, it was um, endorsed that definitely Gamtel Gamsel um, uh, has entered in, ha, is in an agreement uh, with a shareholder that is not beneficial, and that the contract that we had signed, which is the Gambia government then, with uh, Spectrum was not in the interest of the state. So um, through the discussion, it was applauded that we can um, continue with the termination exercise, and that is where this letter was drafted um, to terminate the agreement with um, Spectrum. Okay. So after the letter was drafted? After the letter was drafted, we, uh, we, we wrote to them, terminating the agreement. Did you take part in the negotiations for the repurchase of um, the shares from Spectrum? No. I, I, I was from the beginning against the concept of partnering with Spectrum based on um, what they were delivering and um, so forth. So I was no, my, not part of that. Sorry, my question relates to the repurchase. You know, Re after uh, the, the termination of the management agreement, the government no. then decided that they were going to repurchase the shares. That is correct. Actually, um, the, the process, how it used to work back in the day, ma'am, is that the ministry didn't really have a say in terms of what the investors were, what investors were coming into the sector. For some strange reason, um, investors would be brought down from the office of the president down to um, the finance, finance um, ministry. And then it is later that we are normally informed. And I remember that I had never taken place in the resale of the shares. However, I was once invited over to the former Minister of Finance's office to sign a document for the resale to an Emir Emirate investment group. And after looking at the agreement, without the presence of the Attorney General, a legal, legal representative of the government, without a direct uh, directive from His Excellency then the President, and also uh, just so many flaws in the agreement, I refused to sign. So, um, what was the name of the Emirate Group? Do you remember? Um, I think they were in Emirate Investment Group. Really, I don't remember the details because I left the documents there, but. What I can recall is that this happened just after the termination, around November 21st, around that time. They came into the Gambia and they were pressurizing in the meeting, saying they, they have a flight to catch and we have to sign and everything was done. I told them I cannot sign it and since then... Who, who think, were these people? Pardon me? Who were they? Who were they? If you don't remember the the name of the company, who were the people you dealt with? Did you, did you capture their names? Um, in my notes here, all I see is Emirates Investment, and they were the ones who were selected to do the rollover, to, to roll over the shares, meaning take over the shares that belong to Spectrum, the resale, that is, of the shares. Hmm. Um, it, didn't, it didn't go through, that's what you're saying? It didn't go through because I didn't sign it, and I, I left. The, the, the office because of several reasons. You, you said the, of, the Ministry of Finance, did you Yeah, say? Ministry of Finance office. Who was there on the part of the Ministry of Finance? Um, Honorable Balagay. Oh, okay. Um, so in terms of the repurchase, you did not take any part? No, ma'am. Right. At, at, at that time, I was supporting a public tender um, and we were trying to see if the government can absorb the shares. That's what the ministry was working towards. Let and me understand one thing. Who uh, represented government as a shareholder in Gamtel Gamsel? Was it your, your ministry or was it the Ministry of Finance? Well, 
honestly, from my notes, it's indicating here Ministry of Finance, and they are the accounting ministry, so I believe that if any loans or agreements should be taking place with dealing with finances, they should take the lead. And we took the lead to advise uh, regarding the technical aspect and contract of delivery of services, but when it came to the accounts, it was the responsibility of finance. Was your ministry under the office of the president at the time you were SOS? No. You, you, you were not under the office of the president. You had direct responsibility for the portfolio of communication and information. Yes. Why was it that um, there was this need or this drive to sell off part of Gamtel and Gamsel? You just mentioned a public tender, that you supported a public tender. Why was this, this drive to sell off part of Gamtel and Gamsel? Well, to be honest, when we had terminated the agreement, we were thinking more on a national point of view which is um, that Gamtel Gamsol can really stand on its own and um, if the right investments and push is given to it, it can meet up to the standards as looking at its legacy. But um, when uh, Spectrum was kicked out, um, there were two diverging views. There was a view from, coming from the OP which um, it seemed they were interested in having someone take over the uh, shares from Spectrum, still looking for another partner. But according to my notes here, November 27th, 2008, I had written down here that um, the government must conduct a due diligence before approving or rejecting any uh, investor and also that government should make sure the sale um, process could go through an um, open bidding process, if at all they were to do that, a competitive bidding of GAMSEL if they should bring in an investor. And we were lobbying to see if the government can absorb all the shares. Um, but that was not seeming possible at that time. Uh, were you aware of any authorization to Mr. Mohamed Bazi to sell of 30% shares in Gamtel Gamsel? No. <clears throat> I'll just show you exhibit MS um, 151A, which is a letter written by uh, the Secretary of State for Finance and Economic Affairs to Mr. Mohamed Bazi, and which seems to be, which is copied to the SOS for Information Communication. And Can you tell us anything about that? Document? Well, I don't recall this letter, to be honest. You don't um, recall it? I know. Okay, that's fine. Can you collect the exhibit from the witness? Now, you mentioned that um, there was the uh, spectrum were not transparent about the finances. What exactly did you mean? Well, they were not submitting monthly reports uh, regarding the, the, the shares belonging to the, the, the government. And because they had hired the managing company as well, uh, they had the upper hand where they could not, you know, uh, submit things or not be transparent about the funds. So it's only after the report that we saw a release from the president saying that uh, they should be charged for economic charges, uh, crimes instead, based on their findings of the financials. What we were able to only collect was uh, reports from Gamtel Gamsel staff the inter interim management that was constituted was able to present to us reports um, with what they had. So, and in, mm. in what we had to do instantly was to work on the billing to take over that and the gateway. So to be honest, I didn't see the report that indicates the amount of resources that were lost or were not fairly shared and so forth. Was there a board in place at the time that Spectrum was um, in charge of the management of Gamtel? Yes, I believe there was a board in place. However, I'm more au fait with the interim board I had constituted after the termination. 
So when you say they were not submitting reports, monthly reports,